All right, I'm back again, guys. Make sure y'all subscribe so you can get these videos every single day until Mario Maker 2 comes out. So now, with this stage, I'm mostly going to talk about bosses and how to create them. Now, in Mario Maker 1, obviously, making bosses is harder. And I made this boss before they had the keys and stuff like that. So you had to, like, basically create bosses where... It was not, he was more of an object of the stage. Like, you just had to bypass the boss just to, to beat the stage or whatever. So, with this stage, I wanted to create... I, I actually don't like the design of the stage. Like, I really don't. Because, like, I wanted to create a stage off of wall jumping. That was my first premise, premise of creating a stage. I wanted to create it from wall jumping. So... Everything you see is like me wall jumping through like certain things lines of wall like lines of blocks so you can jump and go over stuff So that's the way I wanted to create the stage I Created that way, but it doesn't fall in line with how magic Koopa should be in a stage. I think you should basically have blocks There, but it should be the blocks that magic Koopas could change but that should be the blocks that you stand on. So that way Magic Koopas can be effective in a stage. Also, that's also a bad design. Where the Magic Koopa will fall on the door. I don't like that. But. Like, the stage should be basically. You know, you standing on a line of blocks that they can change. And then they shoot. When they shoot their item or whatever. You just gotta watch out. And it'll just fall in the fire or whatever. Like the item that they change. Instead of it being a line of wall like a wall and you have the wall jump and then they change in the wall that your wall jumping on which I think I shouldn't have did that I'm probably was just stupid. I'm just stupid. That's it like even this part. I don't like because look look at it. It's It's just kind of bad design a little bit It's hard to get through this stage without getting hurt sometimes because it just designed badly. I think if I had him on the ground, it was a, a lot of Magic Coopers, it would have been better. But, you know, him flying in the air, and then you trying to wall jump, and then him changing the wall, is just not good design. But anyway, here's the stage, and here, see what it looks like. I'm going to show y'all right now. I don't know why I put the conveyors there, but I just started, like, this is just times when I was just put anything anywhere. When we get into the later levels, y'all gonna see that I kept getting better and better with level design. And this is gonna happen to you guys as well, like, if y'all just now start with Mario Maker 2, y'all just gonna figure out how to actually make your own levels and make them unique to you and your style. I'm going to show y'all the sub area as well. Another bad design I did was that the door is right there. Why didn't I just put the door somewhere else so that way Bowser Jr. won't spawn again after you kill him? But I had did that after I created the level. 